Hey you folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play U4 as Sweden. And as times like this, I really wish that if you disbanded an army in U4, the people would go back into your manpower pool. Um, at least maybe if you were at, at peace. You know, I can understand there's a few cheesy things you can do at war, but at least if you were at peace, it would be nice to be able to do that sort of thing. Um, do we have any other idle fleets? Indeed we do. How come you aren't doing the piratey thing? You're supposed to be doing the piratey thing. confused about that and that's my transport so that's fine yeah i don't know what was going on there um so i've got a crap ton of extra force limit I'm way 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 above and so what i'm going to do is um i'm going to go ahead and accept the the sort of yolo mode proposition here um my maneuver guy i'm gonna get assigned here and we're going to declare war on brandenburg cleansing of heresy so France won't come in because they're already in a war, and Lithuania won't come in because they're fighting another war together. However, once this uh, Creek Crusade ends, we can probably pull in Lithuania, and whatever, France is already fighting Austria, which means they're already doing the right thing. And if they peace out there, we might be able to pull them in. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I have no intention of co any of these guys. It's going to be perfectly sufficient. Um, the uh, coalition members, I think, are automatically considered co-belligerents, but can't call in any extra allies, which is nice. If we can take Mecklenburg from Austria, I would be so happy. Anywho, let's go ahead and declare the war. What could possibly go wrong? Um, so, what we want to do at this point is see how many people we can kill. Can I not walk over there? I'm... Oh, the Emperor hasn't actually joined in yet. Okay, that's fine. But we can take all these guys and sort of, like, move them in this direction. There we go. Soon as I'm fighting the Emperor, then I can walk through all the HRE territory. And it's good. East Frisia, sure, you can have access to me. I have no idea how you're related to any of these wars. Big battle, one over there, and a bit of a naval battle as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start consolidating. We have got to drop below our force limit so fast. You know what? Can I... Oh, he's level 3 and I don't have the money for it. Let's say get a 10% force limit, dude. And the answer is yes, but it's not helping. Oh, right. And that's so dumb. I can walk into enemy territory that's Terra Incognita, but I can't walk into friendly territory that's Terra Incognita because of reasons. Which are rather unclear to me. Boom. Stack wiped. Big battle. Still haven't dropped. I probably could just disband this entire army at this point to save some force limit. Let's go ahead and do something like that. Like, the expenses are so big. How big are they? They're so big, they make your mama look skinny. Ah, um. Listen, I want to minimize my force limit, but I'm not sure that massive... Did I just get stopped? Can I not move anymore? But I was going to say, I'm not sure that massive amounts of attrition are the way to do it. Down over here. Battle of... Oh, another minor little ship skirmish, which doesn't really matter. Peace offer from the creek. Not interested yet there, buddy. Gonna catch these guys. We are. Lovely. Okay, more naval battles. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. Maybe I should bring my trade fleets together. Let's dock them in Kent. Have them meet up. Because last thing I want to do, because I need to get taking war score because it is a show superiority thing. So the last thing we want to do is lose stupid naval battles for no goddamn reason. Um, and uh, lose our potential taking war score there. So Altmark is neutral in this. Let's swing over here. Our goal is to kill as many Austrian troops early on. Not to mention getting into battles so that we can consolidate and try to drop our force limit thing. Still spending 74 ducats per month. <laughs> I should not be doing this. I should just disband some armies. What am I doing? Um, these guys are all in the war with me. Yeah, let's let's swing down and just try to fight the fights. Get the war score up. And break them up a little bit. Yay, more CBs against Scotland. Because that's totally relevant to my goals in this game. Uh, any of these other enemies new? Can I walk into there? Looks like yes. Okay, that's convenient. Thank you. Navy has arrived there. They're both there. Excellent. So, you don't need to necessarily hunt out anyone. I'm going to just send you to do the trade in the uh, Lubeck trade node, and that should be enough. You should be safe and self-sufficient, and, um... 
I did not expect to lose that battle. I'm reinforced from here. But not quickly enough. Now, I will catch them when they have basically no morale. So I should be able to finish them off. They have a much higher base morale. But I do have the, the discipline and the tactics. Which is good. You, merge. Lower my force limit. Come on. Come on. There we go. No, I'm losing that. Uh, first of all, I should drop the speed of the game. Secondly, who the hell are you? These must have been Hansian troops or something like that. Go and dock you. You're just getting eaten away. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and disband this army. To save massive amounts of money. Look at that. Are we still above our force limit? No, we are no longer. In fact, we've uh, just dropped beneath the force limit. Hey, what? Come over here instead. We'll get you to group up. That'll be fine. Um, okay, war's not going quite as well as I expected. We're getting our ass kicked here. 6 3 general. Well, alright then. Pretty impressive. I'll give you that. Okay, I can stop consolidating troops now that I'm below my force limit, actually, and we'll wait for reinforcements. Okay, losing two battles is going to completely fuck up my war score. Come on, Quill! I was being way too cavalier. I was feeling too much pressure to just, like, throw some troops away. And that's exactly what happened. I threw them away. Oh, let's go and siege Mecklenburg. That'll be fun. So, now they're not getting a ticking war score, which is nice. I'm going to detach a siege. Of the people that are left, I'll split you between Rupin and here. And hope maybe we can just bait them into attacking us over there while we slowly siege out Brandenburg. Um, that's going to be siege there, which is nice. Technology? Um, this doesn't help us right now. I think I'll wait. Although I'm going to be checking that obsessively forever. Is it possible if I take this, I'll be ahead of time? I don't think so. Um, and we'll probably want some points to core, so I'll just wait. You're fine. You're fine. Poland's being beat up a little bit. Uh, we do want to end the war with the Creek so that we can pull in Lithuania soon. But we'll wait. We'll try to eat some of their stuff here. It'll be a little ex overextension. Hopefully, hold on. I just realized something. Do we have the... Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. The colonial range to actually core anything over here. No. But what I can do is I can transfer the siege to New Scotland. Now there's going to be a limit to how much I can transfer. Muskegee should be transferable, but that might be all. So I think once we finish the siege, that just might be the end of it. Uh, I'm going to merge you guys up. You're still being constructed. I'm going to get you on the boat, and we're going to, we're going to bring you home. Uh, maybe I should wait until everyone else is here. Yeah, okay. I'll just wait a little bit longer. That's fine. Let's go. Well, we've got no morale, but we should be able to smash a two-stack pretty easily. He saw for coming in. We'll wait. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. I'm back over this way. In fact, I'd rather you just not attack me quite yet. Oh, you attacked me regardless. I guess there was just one day away. Uh, hopefully we're okay. I don't have full morale there yet. Now, this is luckily, it's only Poland, which have much lower base morale, not to mention tactics and discipline. Okay, we should be able to win this. It's actually a nice, nice win here for us. Uh, we don't even need to uh, reinforce. I'll stay there. And when I'll split you in half and do this. We'll be a little bit less cavalier with our splitting, maybe. I'll definitely leave my army nearby. I'll split you and do that. Okay, this should enable quite a few reinforcements. One of the siege over here. Can I transfer this? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Even though they're not adjacent? I thought they had to be adjacent now. There might be something else going on. Oh yeah, I'm going to keep checking that forever obsessively. We do want to piece these guys out soon, but not yet. Again, the hope is to get Lithuania in here relatively soon. Before they start one of their own wars and they get distracted and yada yada yada. So, it's the creek. 
So the Chicksaw, who are over here, I mean, those are Chukate. But I can flip that. I don't want to overextend New Scotland too much. I'll probably just give them three provinces. So you know what? Let's go ahead and bop those guys out. Give me money. Oh shit, you have tons of money. That is actually supremely useful right now. Excellent. You guys come over here. That is really, really useful right now. Meanwhile, I gotta babysit my troops over here. Looks like we're fine so far. We're definitely fine. Oh, you know what? This can be a long war. Why don't we raise war taxes? I should have done that earlier. There you go. Costs are going up. But that's because we're having to reinforce right now. We do have manpower right now, but we're getting some pretty serious attritioning over here because um, my stacks are relatively large. What I need to do is give you guys a leader at some point, but I don't think we're ever going to get a chance for that. Make your way here as quickly as possible. Alright, looks like it's not going to be relevant. Well, that's not true. We actually, are going to catch those guys. I don't think we'd be able to reinforce in a reasonable amount of time, though. Maybe. We'll try that one anyway. No, it's possible, actually. We'll reach in there. Who is this? Oh, Tiver! Tiver! Whoever you are. Excellent. Meanwhile, you're going there, which is fine. We're just going to try to finish that siege. You can move in over here as well. If we can get Lithuania to help, it would be pretty nice. Okay, we reinforced in time. Winning that battle. Excellent. Um, so what I'm going to do is pull you back to Mecklenburg. Lose a stability or lose 20 army tradition. Oh, I can't lose army tradition right now. I'll lose the stability. Luckily, it will only cost me 60 right now to boost it. Really? 60? I'm tempted to go up to plus 2 during the war. Positive stability. Doesn't increase the manpower recovery rate? Really? I thought it did. All right, then. Army tradition does, so it's a good thing we didn't cost that. All right, and we had poor uniforms. I forgot about that. Let's just finish those sieges. Heresy went away, which is nice. Um, we do have... How much are these? These are people we should be able to crush. Let's go and crush. Armies arrived here. Good. Are you, like, not able to come over here? Oh, you keep trying to walk through there. That's what's happening. Because you should be able to walk through there. You really should. Meanwhile, everything is fine over here. Good. We can end this war even just taking Mecklenburg. That would be great. Maybe breaking up a few relationships. But the more we can grab over here, the nice. The nice? The nicer. We can't take Brandenburg because it's a capital. Which is certainly a little annoying. Uh, we might be able to do Mecklenburg here, there. On the other hand, you know, that's just going to further the aggressive expansion and further the coalitions. But this is going to reset a lot of truces for a lot of coalitions. So that's actually really handy. Meanwhile, the English army is in a bit of danger, but we should be able to reinforce and save the day. Uh, oh, this is done. Good. Transfer to... Oh, I can actually just transfer it to Scotland, Scotland. Tell you what, I'll transfer it to Scotland, Scotland. That way we can spread around the coring love. We're going to trade here. We're going to say, uh, oh, that was a mistake. We can't full annex these guys now. That was a mistake. They need to both go to the same thing, and then I could have probably maybe full annex them. Maybe you can actually in this situation. I guess we'll do that and take all your money, which is not much. Make you a Scottish protectorate, which I don't think helps. Break your relationships. All right, good enough. The so two things. One, it breaks that. Two, we can move this way. No. Is this army going to be stuck here? It is going to be stuck there. Because this one won't be able to move. All right, I'll just disband you then, which is kind of derpy and stupid. I don't know why you're black flagged. I guess it's because it's not actually ours. 
I wonder if I could have moved through here instead of there. That's possible. Because that's actually Scottish. I'm not sure. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, Lithuania! Boop! Nice. Very nice. This is much help. Alright, so attrition is still our biggest problem right now. That's actually where we're losing most of our people. Back in Gaul. Oh, natives because it's an actual um, colony. Nope. Guale, I suppose it is. Like Gaul, where um, Asterix and Obelix are from, right? Gaul? Pretty sure that's just north of Florida. What is that, South Carolina? I don't know my states. I'm a Canuckian. What can I say? Um, a little skirmish there. 100% siege here. We don't have any enemies over here that we need to blockade. Detach and uh, maybe go and assist this siege there. We'll get a little bit of war score, not to mention hurt some people. So Poland is on on this. Which I can't remember if they... Not the, the way I declared war. Did I declare the wrong war? No. Maybe they were always going to get called in. That's possible. Okay, more skirmishes that don't really matter. Come on, get my rest of my troops here so I can ferry them home. And get some more heavies and lights and stuff to blockade. Still integrating uh, Scotland. Gonna have enough diplo power to negotiate something. Oh, internal conflicts are over. There, 100%. Very nice. Boop, boop, boop. Mecklenburg siege is gonna take a long time. I don't have my, uh, my cannon situation particularly optimized to max out my sieges, unfortunately. Also, there's no blockade here. Which I should do, because I want that siege to go faster. Derp derp. Do that, detach, send some to the Baltic. Okay. A little bit of skirmish there. Probably worth detaching some people and going and helping. Right, that's fine. A few more. I'm gonna keep spawning the, uh, the native attacks every time I move some troops in here, which always strikes me as kind of odd. I don't know who decided that mechanic was a good idea, because it seems a little weird. Yeah, that's all my troops, so now I can ferry them back. They should be able to get home safely. I will drop them off in, uh, I don't know, maybe Stata, right over there. Reinforcing here, we might get there on time. No, I think it's going to lose that. Oh, no, we did! Good! That's going to be another just simple victory in our favor. Do we have a ticking war score? Not yet. Need more battles. Hope it's not like last time, where it seemed to take an extreme amount of time to get the right amount of battles won. You're going to go and wipe that while I go and wipe this. That's interesting. Why don't I just go and attack you here? That makes a lot more sense. Oh, you're, you're going to get caught. Nice carpet sieging. I really don't need to leave a stack in Mecklenburg. Why don't I... Whoa! No, no, no. Detach! I hit the button! Don't be like that. Detach a siege. Come down here to the front. Guard some of my buddies. Do, do, do. I like the war music in this game. It's super good. I can't enter that? Really? But I'm at war with the... The Emperor. There we go. There, I was going to say, I should be able to enter that territory. I guess it always takes a day or two for the uh, the battle to finish resolving. There you go. Just wipe out a few more people here. Oh, that is quite the reinforcement. But then, that's not bad. And maybe we'll do some... With uh, Lithuania in the war, I probably don't have to worry too much about Poland. Let's start a long trip over here. And you know what? People can attach this unit if they want. I'd be okay with that. They reinforced. And they do have so these Brandenburgian. Brandenburg's in here, which of course has like, they have sick good stats for combat. Um, hmm. Well, you know, it might last long enough to get like uber reinforcements in here, but I don't think so. I think we're just going to straight up lose that. They're losing a handful more men, but not too many more. And I think we'll lose the battle. Just because of, you know, morale and things. But if we can reinforce just in time... Oh, they got another stack coming, too. We'll still try. We might be able to get there. Do I have an idle leader around? No. Um, I'm going to go ahead and roll another general. 
I got military points. I'm actually about to max out on military. That is pretty good. Come on. Okay, we reinforced. Our stats are still quite poor. What kind of front line are we running right now? Does it not tell us the numbers of people who are still in it and haven't actually retreated? We have... Oh, we have a minus one. We're attacking into the woods. Okay, if we can win... No, they're not going to run out of morale before they get reinforced. Holy crap. This is the battle to end all battles over here. We got a few more reinforcements about to come in, though. Mostly cannons. And that's a thing, actually. I think the, the sheer amount of cannons is really good. Assuming our front line doesn't collapse, the number of cannons we have should inflict a pretty immense amount of damage. They're taking twice as many losses as we are. And we just have enough bodies here to, to restrict the, the morale loss, which is good. Woo! That is probably the battle that'll win us the war. On the other hand, Austria is actually coming back now. France, have you been completely fucking destroyed? Is that possible? It looks like it. Are we going to finish this battle before the big reinforcements come? I just rolled a zero. Otherwise, I think we would have. Now I think we're going to lose this battle. And be in pretty shit position. Can't afford the new military tech. I think... It's going to be worth buying all the mercs. Damn. I wonder if it's worth just running now. Well, it's still possible we'll get a lucky roll and a lucky tick. Nope, they reinforced. Alright, so that's going to beat us. So, can I influence where we retreat to? I'm not sure that we can, but I'm going to try to retreat to fine. Alright, no, it's going to go there. Can I group these armies up? No. I could consolidate on the run, I think. It's not necessarily what I want. Build more mercs. And try to recruit a template of people. And get everyone to reinforce there. Because they are almost certainly going to chase us. Now, they might catch one or two dudes along the way. Um, I should probably do a consolidate. Just for the idea that I need my armies to be reasonable here. Especially if I'm spending money to rebuild. Oh no, they're going to go and try to smash some of these stacks. We went to Mecklenburg. I don't have the morale to actually reinforce here right now. Come on. Come on. Mecklenburg doesn't have a leader. I would like to finish the sieges, although I can't do this one. You're going... Oh, you're going to Wittenberg. Still, I can do that. I'm going to make sure my vassals... I think I mismanage this war, or set the supportive if whatever possible. Come on. Okay, February 1st we'll be able to start moving the stack, but they're going to join with no morale. worth doing it? No, nope, we lost already, so don't. Change my mind. Sucks that they're going to clear that, and then they're probably going to clear a lot of other sieges as well. Or were they going to ch chase me into Lubeck? Now, unfortunately, Lubeck is just planes. There's no defensive bonuses, and they do have sick good stats. They do have a lot of reinforcements getting ready to go, though. Uh, morale's not great, but we're going to have some numbers. Attach this unit. Be supportive. Okay. We've got numbers, but our, our initial morale sucks. They also have a higher base morale, so the morale damage is going to be incredibly high. So, we'll probably lose the battle. The question is if our superior tactics and discipline is going to allow us to kill a lot more of them. Oh, wow. We are hugely killing them. we got a good roll. They do have a good leader, 4-3. Oh, well, we have a 3-5 in here. I think that might work. I think we might actually be okay. It's hard, because we had such little morale, and we're going to take a lot of morale damage, but we have numbers, and oh, we're crushing them. Yes! That is a massively important battle. Thank you. 
Um, we're back to there. We'll leave that be. I'm not overextended. I don't have any stuff. No. Good. Won the Battle of Lubeck. Now, I wonder where they're going to retreat to. We probably catch them, these guys. We have no morale right now. But that's a small stack. We have a lot of friends with us. Oh, hey. These guys just landed in stud. We'll go and have them reinforce. Meanwhile, we've got a handful of ships here. Got full blockade, full blockade. So why don't you go to the coast of Holland? Help the English Navy, what it is. Do some blockading. Should be able to jump on them here relatively easily. Smash that stack. Yeah, we have no morale right now, but we're going to be fine. Only 98% siege, really? Well, they have a little bit more land there than I thought. And some high tax base. I think it's a tax base. Could be trade potential. That uh, determines how many ships you need to actually siege. Blockade. One day I'll get the, the numbers right. One day I'll get the word right. Let's group you up. You stop there. Start that siege. You are a little shy on manpower, of course. What I'll do is I'll split, send you to Wittenberg, split, go to Anhalt. Split one more time, you go to Potsdam. And then we should be able to reinforce and regroup and all that sort of jazz. How are we doing with our force limit? Are we above? No, we have mercs and lots of reinforcements, but we're not actually above our force limit. Although, uh, how many ship guys are we building? 13? That still won't be above our th force limit, so we're okay. We might run out of manpower, of course. Military power situation is a little sketch. Should be okay. We'll get a full siege of Brandenburg, which is, I mean, Brandenburg is the person we're specifically declaring war against. Not that it matters too terribly much, and we should have our ticking war score. Not yet. All right. I mean, fair enough. We had a lot of battles that sort of went south on us. Be nice if France were a little bit more competent in this game. It's so weird that they're not. I'm sure I'll be happy about that later. But for now, it would be nice if they could actually, you know, fight in our mutual wars and be competent. Lithuania's done a great job. Much better job than France. Okay. That's looking pretty good. So by having them supportive but not having the attached, they should stay near my armies. Delhi is having internal conflicts. Okay. They're like, should we go with ham or salami? I don't know. What about a nice prosciutto? Mmm, prosciutto. All right, new units over here. Uh, there's still some pretty dangerous stacks going around out there. But we'll wait. We'll let our armies reinforce for one. I mean, unless I want to do a lot more merging and then rebuying of armies, I may as well just spend the, the cash to have the current armies re... Um, reinforce and we have some uh we don't have any leaders assigned to a few groups here because of all our our grouping not our consolidating but our actual merging of armies causes us to sort of disappear lose some of our leaders there's another one that's not assigned over here so i'll go ahead and move you to maybe brunswick you can assist there we do have some decent generals which is nice including some ones with the siege bonus very very handy so the big problem is if this war with France ends, because that will liberate a lot of crap that I don't want to have liberated. Lithuania is actually helping Poland, in a, in a sense, by uh, unseaging some stuff held by rebels. What kind of rebels do they have? Noble rebels. At least Poland can't do anything in this war. That is very, very good news. But yeah, we'll finish the siege of Brandenburg, because it means they won't be able to reinforce. Also, they have no money, so they might actually have to disband their armies, which, considering that Brandenburg tends to be a military death machine... Will uh will help my position. Oh, we we have to siege Mecklenburg. God, we we lost that. Let's try that again. So I'm suffering a lot of attrition, but we really do need to get this stuff down. Detach, go back to the front over here. Suffering a lot of attrition, but I I want to keep relatively decent stacks going here. While also simultaneously sieging a bunch of stuff. Costly. Everything about this war was costly. Remember when we were costing um, 76 ducats per month? Good God. How many loans are we rocking? Three. I mean, we are making good money outside of war. 
Also, another thing that's costing us money right now is the fact that we're not defending our siege or um, um, our trade. Uh, who else are we at war with? Okay, so we can sort of. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move all the cannons up to Mecklenburg. Hopefully, improve that siege speed. I need 15 artillery for the full bonus. 12, 9. It's gonna be. We've got two plus seven, so that'll be nine. So we'll get to the plus three. That helps for something. I'm gonna move you right to there. Do do do. Well, I guess this is as good a place as any to put in a cut. Um, costly war, obviously. Probably a good time to attack Austria, I think. Again, the AE and all kinds of stuff is still going to be pretty bad. No, France has finally got an army put together. Austria's actually kind of retreated. Oh! The Ottomans! Thank you, Ottomans! You could not have timed that better. I don't think that war was going on before. So now Austria's in a three-way war. Freaking love it. Brandenburg's war enthusiasm is low. I can't separate peace out Austria. Right, coalition. So the important thing to do might be someone like Augsburg's, Bohemia, East Frisia. All these would be pretty sexy for us to pick up. In particular, all the stuff along the coast here would be awfully nice. So we'll, we'll see about doing that. We still don't have Frisian because, you know, we had to give that up, but we might go ahead and pick that up at some point later on. But yeah, Oldenburg and East Frisia would be beautiful to just gobble up. Looks like Poland's starting to build an army again. They're probably still mostly distracted by internal issues. All right, I'm 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 relatively happy with how the war is going for now. It sucks we still don't have our ticking war score yet, so we'll have to go and mash a couple armies. I suppose I can do something like this, maybe. Um, and we'll pick this up next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.